This section explains how to perform non-invasive blood pressure, NBP, SpO2, and temperature measurements. After entering or selecting a patient ID, you can take vital signs measurements in any order. When performing NBP, the first step is to select the appropriate size cuff. A properly sized cuff should span approximately two-thirds of the distance between the elbow and the shoulder and wrap around the limb. Use of an improperly sized cuff can result in inaccurate blood pressure readings. Connect the cuff to the tubing and the tubing to the monitor. Press the NBP button on the front of the monitor to initiate a blood pressure measurement. Following deflation, the NBP measurement is displayed on the screen, including systolic, diastolic, and mean arterial pressure. When choosing a location for the SpO2 sensor, the most important consideration is to pick a site with brisk arterial perfusion. It's also important to avoid using a limb with an NBP cuff. In a few moments, oxygen saturation and heart rate numerics appear. The perfusion indicator bar is a signal quality indicator for the SpO2 measurement. You can also choose to continuously monitor a patient's SpO2 and save the SpO2 measurements to a patient record at a specified interval. Open the SpO2 menu. Select Continuous SpO2 Monitoring and select On. When you select On, the Save SpO2 to Patient Record option appears. This option allows you to specify how often the monitor will save an SpO2 measurement to the patient's record. Select the Save SpO2 to Patient Record option and choose one of the interval options. Press the main screen button on the front panel to close the menu. The word continuous appears in the lower right corner of the SpO2 numeric pane. Depending on the version of VS3 you have, the location of the temperature probe may be different than the one demonstrated here. Operation is the same regardless of where the temperature probe is located. There are two modes for temperature measurement. Monitored mode, which provides a continuous measurement, or predictive mode, which takes a single measurement. In predictive mode, after removing the probe from its holder, this icon appears and a tone sounds, indicating the probe is ready for placement. Make sure that the correct probe site is selected. Be sure to attach a probe cover before placing the probe. The monitor measures the patient's temperature in approximately 4 seconds when measuring orally and approximately 16 seconds when measuring axillary or rectally. An audible tone indicates that the measurement is complete. Temperature is displayed here. In monitored mode, the monitor measures the patient's temperature continuously and displays the temperature in the numeric pane as long as the probe is in contact with the patient. It is recommended that the probe not stay in the mouth for more than three minutes. Highlight and select the temperature numeric pane to make changes to the high and low alarm limits, change probe site, switch between predictive and monitoring modes, and change temperature units.